Here's a lesson for section 6.5, determining the equation of a line given the slope and a point. So um, the instructions here for this first example, it says determine the equation of a line in slope y-intercept form. So remember that form, what that means is y equals mx plus b. Um, so determine the equation of a line in the form y equals mx plus b if the line has a slope of 3 and goes through the point to negative 5. Before I go ahead and actually figure out the equation of this line, let me just remind you what the letters in this equation, y equals mx plus b, stand for. So um, here's the equation, y equals mx plus b. The m value is the slope of the line. The b value is the y-intercept of the line. And then the, this x and y in the equation, um, that stands for all of the points that make up the line. Because remember, every point on the line has a coordinate x y. Okay, So every point on the line, if you plug in the coordinates of any point, so if you plug in the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate of any point on the line into the equation of the line, it will satisfy the equation. Okay, It would make the left side equal the right side. Because the, the equation of the line um, is basically the definition of all of the points on the line. So if we have a point on the line, the x-coordinate um, stands for the x in the equation of the line, the y-coordinate stands for the y in the equation of the line. The m is the slope, and the b is the y-intercept. So if I want to write the equation of a line, um, what I need, I need um, two things in order to write the equation. I need the slope and the y-intercept. Okay. In this question here, it gives me the slope, it tells me it's a slope of 3, but it doesn't give me the y-intercept. Instead, it tells me another point on the line. So whenever we do a question like this, we just want to start out by stating what do we know. So we know the slope. I know a slope is the m value, so it gave me that the slope is 3, and it gave me a point on the line. And I know every point on the line has an x and a y coordinate. So this is an x coordinate, this is the y coordinate of a point on the line. So, and I've just told you in order to write the equation of the line, I need the slope and the y-intercept. I don't have the y-intercept, so what I need to do, I need to solve for the y-intercept. To do this, we can use the equation y equals mx plus b and substitute in the values for m, x, and y, and then solve for the b value. And then um, we'll use the point on the line for the x and y values and the slope for the m value. Okay? So the equation of a line is y equals mx plus b. Um, so I'm going to plug in the slope for m and the point for x and y. So the y coordinate of the point was negative 5 my slope was 3, the x-coordinate of the point was 2, and I don't know my b value. I'm going to have to solve that. So 3 times 2 is 6. Now to solve for b I must isolate it, so I'm going to move that 6 to the other side. It becomes a minus 6. Therefore negative 11 equals b. So my b value, my y-intercept, is negative 11. So when I want to write the equation of my line, all I need to do is plug in my m and b values. You don't plug in x and y. Okay. So my final equation, my slope was 3, and my y-intercept was negative 11. So the equation of my line is y equals 3x minus 11. You don't plug in for x and y because this equation, once again, um, defines all of the points that make up this individual line. Okay, so you only plug in for m and b, you don't plug in for x and y in your final equation. Okay, so now let's do an example. Find the equation of a line with a slope of 1 over 2 passing through this point. Okay, we're not actually going to graph the line right now. We've done lots of practice with graphing lines already. <clears throat> so if it has a slope of 1 over 2, so I'm going to state what I know for step number 1. The slope is 1 over 2, so that's my m value, and it gives me a point on the line. The point on the line was 1, 5. I know every point has an x and a y coordinate. Um, so I want to try and write the equation in the form y equals mx plus b. In order to do that, I know I need the slope and the y-intercept. But it doesn't give me the y-intercept. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to, oops, I'm going to have to plug in um, my point for the x and y. Uh, I'll just rewrite that. I'm going to have to plug in um, my point for x and y, my slope for m, and then solve for the b value. So let's do that. The y-coordinate of my point was 5, the slope was 1 over 2, and the x-coordinate of the point was 1. 
plus b. I don't know b. I'll have to solve for that. So 5 equals 1 over 2 times 1 is just 1 over 2. Now what I have to do is isolate the b value, move the 1 over 2 to the other side. So 5 minus 1 over 2 equals b. Now, in order to subtract a fraction, I need a common denominator. Right now, this, has, this 5 has a denominator of 1, because every whole number has a denominator of 1. I want it to have a denominator of 2. So I'm going to have to multiply the top and the bottom by 2. So that gives me 10 over 2. And you can clearly see 10 over 2 is equivalent to 5. That's why I'm allowed to just change it like that. 10, um, when you're subtracting fractions, just subtract the numerator. So 10 minus 1 is 9. Leave the denominator the same. So leave it as a 2. So my b value is 9 over 2. So I now have the y-intercept of my line. I have the slope of the line. I can write the equation of the line that defines all of the points on the line, that make up the line. Okay. So the equation of my line in y equals mx plus b form is y equals 1 over 2x plus 9 over 2. And remember, you only plug in for m and b in your final equation, not x and y. Example 2. Find the equation of a line with a slope of 3 and passes through the point 0, 2. Then graph the line. Okay. So what does it give me? It gives me the slope of a line. So the m value gives me the m value is 3. And it gives me a point on the line. The point is 0, 2. And I know every point on the line has an x and y coordinate. If I want to write the equation of the line, I need the slope and the y-intercept. It doesn't give me the y-intercept. Um, we'll, we'll actually, we'll talk about that in a second. It actually does, but for to keep it going the same here, let's just pretend um, that we don't realize that the point it gave us is actually the y-intercept. Um, so it just gave us a slope and a point. So as of right now, we don't realize, um, we, we don't think we have the y-intercept value. Okay. So it gave us the slope. It gave us a point on the line. We know a point has an x and a y we're going to have to solve for the y-intercept. So um, the y-coordinate of the point was 2. The slope of the line is 3. The x-coordinate of the point is 0. And plus b, I don't know the b value, I'm going to have to solve for it. 3 times 0 is 0, so that's gone. I'm just left with 0 plus b on the right. 0 plus b is just b. So my y-intercept is, in fact, 2. Okay. And, in fact, I didn't even have to solve this equation to figure that out. The point it gave me is actually it gave me the, the coordinates of the y-intercept. So it gave me the point 0, 2. The point 0, 2 is located at 2 on the y-axis. So, you know, roughly about there. So it actually gave me, gave me the y-intercept. I know whenever x equals 0, the value of y is whatever the y-intercept is. So it gave me the y-intercept. I didn't have to solve, but I did anyway, and I got the same value. Okay. So the equation of my line, you plug in for your slope and your y-intercept, not, not x and y. So the equation of my line is y equals, my slope was 3x three, three plus 2. And that's the final equation of the line. Okay, um, so these questions are going to get a little bit more difficult now. So you're going to have to remember back to last lesson where we learned about parallel and perpendicular lines. So for this example, determine the equation of a line that is parallel to the line y equals negative 2x minus 7 and passes through the point 1, negative 3. So I want to find the equation of a line that's parallel to this line right here, y equals negative 2x minus 7. Hopefully you remember that parallel lines have identical slopes. So I put the little reminder here. Remember, lines that are parallel have the exact same slope. They don't have the same y-intercept. I mean, they could if they were collinear, but parallel lines don't always have the same y-intercept. So, in fact, we're not interested in what the y-intercept is. Um, of this line it gave us that's parallel to it is. So we're not interested in this negative 7 at all. Okay, All we know is that um, the equation of the line we're trying to find, we know it's going to be parallel to this line, so we know it's going to have the exact same slope because parallel lines have the same slope. So the equation, um, the slope of the line um, that we're trying to find is going to be the same as the slope of this line because they're parallel. So the slope is going to be negative 2. The y-intercept I don't know. It's not going to have the same y-intercept necessarily as the line it gave us in the equation. Um, but we know it's going to pass through the point 1, negative 3. Okay, and I know that's an x and a y-coordinate. So what I can do, I don't know the y-intercept, so I'm going to have to solve for it the same way I did before. Plug, in for, plug your point in for your x and y, or slope in for m. So I get negative 3 equals negative 2 times 1 plus b, and then solve for your y-intercept. 
negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Move the negative 2 to the other side. I have to add it. And then, well, I can write that a little clearer. Negative 3 plus 2 equals b. Um, negative 1 equals b. So my y-intercept is actually negative 1. My slope is negative 2. I can write the equation in my line by plugging in my slope and my, and my y-intercept. Remember, never plug in for x and y in your final equation. So y equals negative 2x minus 1. Okay, now let's do an example where um, I want to find the equation of a line that is perpendicular to this line and passes through the point negative 2, negative 5. So if it's perpendicular to this line, okay, hopefully you remember that perpendicular lines um, have slopes that are negative reciprocals of each other. So I know the slope um, of a line perpendicular to this one, 2x minus y plus 4, is going to have a slope that is the negative reciprocal of it. So first of all, I need to figure out what is the slope of this line? Okay, what is the slope of this line here? In order to find out the slope of that line, whoops, I didn't mean to redraw that. In order to find out the slope of this line, I need to first put it into the form y equals mx plus b. Because currently it's in standard form, and I can't tell what the slope of this line is just by looking at it. I have to rearrange it into the form y equals mx plus b, so that I can clearly tell what the m value is, what the slope is. Once I've found the slope, I can then take the negative reciprocal of that to find the slope of a line perpendicular to it. Because that's what I want. I want the equation of a line that is perpendicular to that one. So let's start off by rearranging the equation 2x minus y plus 4 equals 0. Let's start off by rearranging that into the form y equals mx plus b. So I want y by itself on the left, the term with the x, and the constant term on the right. So start by isolating the term with, um, the, term with the y. So isolate the negative y. Negative y equals, move the 2x over, it becomes a negative 2x. Move the positive 4 over, it becomes a negative 4. So now I have negative y equals negative 2x minus 4. Okay? Um, I'm not done yet. The equation of a line isn't negative y equals mx plus b. It's positive y equals mx plus b. So I need to isolate positive y. So I need to move this negative 1 to the other side. Right now I'm multiplying y by negative 1. So the opposite of multiplying by negative 1 is dividing by negative 1. So divide each of the terms on the other side by negative 1. And then simplify. I have y equals negative 2 divided by negative 1 is positive 2. Um, negative 4 divided by negative 1 is positive 4. So essentially the signs of all, each of the terms has just changed. That's what happens when you divide both sides by negative 1. So here's the equation um, of this line. So here's the equation of this line, um, but rearranged into the form y equals mx plus b. So the slope of that line is in fact 2. So the slope of the given line was 2. But I want the equation of a line perpendicular to that. So I have to find the negative reciprocal. So if the slope of the given line was 2, I'm going to write that as 2 over 1, because I know um, all whole numbers have a denominator of 1. Um, I know the slope of a line perpendicular to that. So here's the sign for perpendicular, two, perpendic two perpendicular lines. Um, the slope perpendicular to that is going to be the negative reciprocal of that. And what that means is I must flip the slope. So I need to um, put the numerator in the denominator and the denominator in the numerator. So it's two, instead of 2 over 1, it's going to say 1 over 2. And I also need to change the sign. Okay, So ne this is the negative reciprocal of this. You just have to flip it and change the sign. Since 2 over 1 had an overall positive value, um, the perpendicular slope is going to have an overall negative value. Okay, So <clears throat> the slope of a line perpendicular to um, the given line, which was 2x minus y plus 4 equals 0, is negative 1 over 2. It also gave me a point on the, on the perpendicular line, which was negative 2 over 5. So it gave me the point, negative 2, 5. Is that what it was, negative 2, 5? Yeah. And I know a point has an x and a y coordinate. So I now have the slope of the perpendicular line, so I have my m value, and I have a point on the line, which is um, my x and my y coordinate. So I can now solve for the y-intercept, because I need the y-intercept in order to write the equation of the line. So I'm going to plug in, so I'm getting the equation of the perpendicular line. So I'm going to use my perpendicular slope, which was negative 1 over 2. Um, the y-coordinate of the point was 5, the x-coordinate was negative 2. And I don't know my b-value, I'm going to solve for that. 
So 5 equals negative 1 over 2 times negative 2. Think of negative 2 as negative 2 over 1. That'll probably help. So let me rewrite that as that. That way it makes the multiplication easier. So think of this as negative 2 over 1. When multiplying fractions, just multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. So negative 1 times negative 2 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 over 2 is just equal to 1. Move the 1 to the other side. 5 minus 1 equals b. Therefore, 4 equals b. I now have my y-intercept. So if I want to write the equation of the line, remember to plug in your m and b values. And remember, we're writing the equation of the perpendicular line, so we're going to use the perpendicular slope, which was negative 1 over 2. And I just solved that the y-intercept is 4. There's the equation of the line. So I put a little reminder here. Make sure you use the slope of the perpendicular line, because that's what the question asks us to find. It asks us to find um, the equation of a line that is perpendicular to this one. Okay, and so we use the point, um, we use the perpendicular slope, we solved for the y-intercept, and then we wrote the equation of the line. So just a little conclusion, um, to write the equation of a line, you need to know two things. You need to know the slope and the y-intercept. So you need to know the m and the b value. Slope is m, y-intercept is b. If you want to write the equation in the form y equals mx plus b, those are the two things you need. Um, if it doesn't give you the y-intercept, you can use the slope of a line and a point on the line to calculate the y-intercept. And to find the slope of a perpendicular line, you're going to first need to find, um, to find the slope of a perpendicular line, you need to find uh, the negative reciprocal. Okay? Negative reciprocal. Find the slope of a perpendicular line, you need to find um, the negative reciprocal of the slope. Okay? And what that means, it means flip it and change the sign. Okay? So that's it. Um, make sure what you do now is you go to, um, go to jensenmath.ca, um, download the worksheet, try out all the questions, and let me know if you have any questions yourself.